Hello everyone, I'm Deco, and today I'm going to show you how to add a doll in the Doll Feature Finder. Now, you'll want to navigate to the Doll Feature Finder website, which is www.dollfinder.org. And you can either click on Find a Doll, and then click on the Add a Doll link. Or you can click this little button right here and say Add a Doll. Now, the form will pop up with a little bit of rules that you need to follow for doll inclusion. And then let's get started uh, adding a doll. Okay, so today we're going to add a Rosette doll uh, from Zoom. So this is the basic version. So for now, we're just going to put in Armeria. Make sure you spell it right. Armeria. Okay, cool. And Zoom. Uh, add the doll company, and if it has a doll line specifically, like Zoom does, go ahead and add the doll line. Now, in the future, I may have drop-down lists for this, uh, but so far, I haven't really figured out how to work that in yet. But maybe in the future, it'll be a possibility. And then you'll want to link to the official sculpt listing, not a dealer link, or a link from a dealer website. Go to the actual company website and copy the link from the product listing. So we'll do that. And then she was of course an MSD. So we'll click that. And now the photo section, you'll want to add a photo of the doll. Um, the headshot is fine, but if it has like special parts like uh, hoof legs or something, try to get a full body shot. And you'll want to at, make sure the photo ends in like .jpg or .png and not like .com or .net or something like that because it needs to be linked to an actual photo and not a web page. Um, you can either upload a photo, which is not ideal right now because server space is limited because all of this is on a free plan. So that server space will fill up very quickly if everybody starts uploading photos. Uh, so right now, it's not very correct, I guess you can say, but we're going to have to what is called hot link to photos uh, from the internet. Uh, I may be able to try to find a solution around that so it's not so controversial for hot linking. Uh, but for now, that's what we're going to have to do. I'll try to change that in the future. If you have any comments or suggestions on how to fix that, let me know. So we're going to attach file. Click this button. Now scroll down. You can either click on this to select a file to upload from your computer or scroll up and click this little menu icon here and select um, link or URL. And then of course, go find the um, URL to the image you want to link. And you'll have to scroll all the way back down. I know that's kind of annoying. Maybe I can fix that in the future. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, paste the link in there and then click this little button to link it and scroll up make sure the image is there uh, sometimes it may not show up but it will be there but it may have a little broken icon symbol but that's fine it will still be there and go ahead and scroll down and then click upload now that will upload that to the server and the image will appear here now the next section is called features, and this is the most important part because uh, this part allows people to find specific dolls. So we're going to look at her picture and we're going to see that she has a closed mouth. Uh, she's not showing any teeth. She don't have fangs or animal ears or anything like that. She doesn't really have an unusual expression. It's just the doll expression. She does have open eyes. They are not half closed eyes or closed eyes. She doesn't have one open, one closed. She doesn't have any extra eyes, no tongue showing, skull. She doesn't have any sideboard parts or additional arms or anything like that. She does not have jointed hands or jointed feet. She is not a, a head display. So we're going to keep going down here. She is on a slim body. So you can go ahead and click this. 
and she's not chubby she's not muscular uh, there is like a mature body uh, version a bigger bust version but we're not going to select that right now and then not a child body or ear attachments uh, she has normal sized eyes that are either small or large she does not have a long face but it is eh, it's not really round either maybe i'll add another option for maybe a diamond shape or oval uh, she does have small lips we're going to check this uh, she is a female, but we're going to leave that just for the bodies. Because she could be either a male or female head sculpt. Right now, we're just lo really looking at head sculpt. So we're going to skip. We're not going to check this because it's not just a body. Um, we're going to skip nails for now because it's not just a hand uh, entry. But she does have droopy eyes. I'll have to reorder these later to like group them all together. And that may be a future upgrade is where separate the eye features or the body features but for now it's all listed in one and then availability um, they're discontinued even though Zoom recently started um, re-releasing the rosette doll line but for now they are pretty much discontinued okay you can add variations but in order to add a variation, it already has to be in the database. So if it's not in the database, you'll have to add that variation um, before you can add it. So for now, I, I did previously add a variation, so we can go ahead and add that so I can show you how it works. Just type in arm and then click on student edition because that's there. And you can add one more than one variation at a time so long as it's in the database. And if you add dolls to the database and know that they have variations, you can go ahead and contact me and I can add those variations to the listing. And then you can add any notes that you may find relevant. Uh, for instance, most of the time, or before they re-released another body, uh, they were only released on like Muse bodies, or I mean, pure bodies. But this particular sculpt was released on either or you had a, uh, a choice, so we'll, we'll add that. Okay, and then she was offered in, I think, three skin colors? Yep. Okay, she was offered in cream, cream white, normal and brown tan uh i think the um full set was optional yep so that's really the only relevant information for that and then we want to make sure all this information is um ex accurate as possible now, most of these features are subjective, not objective, so just try your best uh, to be accurate with them. Like the big lips, small lips, round face, long face, that's kind of hard to uh, judge. But, you know, just try your best to help people out. And maybe I'll make a guide on which uh, features should be considered which. But for now, they're all lumped in together. And of course, you want to go down here and hit Submit. And then scroll up and it says thank you so much for taking the time to submit a doll to the database this project would not be possible without individuals like you and you can either submit another response or continue on to the doll finder and let that load and you can scroll all the way down and it is added immediately as soon as you hit the submit button so there it is and of course adding a doll company or doll line or whatever is the exact same process you just go through here fill out as best as you can if it has doll lines the actual website um, Taobao websites are okay so as long as you know it's the official Taobao website um, all the resin colors they may offer uh, a, a link to a skin color comparison URL uh, these aren't required 
but just help others out by adding as much information as you can. Now, most doll companies, they will not offer um, custom color resin, but like Resin Soul, for example, they will um, uh, color a resin to whatever color you want. So you can click yes on that. And I know Doll Family H will do that, Impel Doll will do that, etc. But anyway, and then you hit submit, and then immediately the doll company will show up in the doll, <coughs> excuse me, the doll company page. Now, if you see an error on a company page or a uh, doll entry, uh, where did I stick those? Oh, find a doll. And then you can uh, request an update. Now this is a doll entry update request and to update an entry you'll want to tell me which entry needs to be updated. So all the dolls that are in the database will be listed here and of course you can search for them so you don't have to keep scrolling and then you want to click that and it will tell me which entry the exact entry that needs to be updated and then only fill out the fields that need to be updated. If the information is correct or does not need to be updated, you can leave that field blank. So let's say somebody added cuprit under like fairyland or something, then you'll wanna go in here and say, zoom, okay? Then I'll know that that sculpt, or that's company, sorry. That sculpt should be under zoom and not fairyland. And then you can go down here and of course click any um, features that you think need to be added to that listing or taken away. So I'll know if it needs to be added or taken away because if it's already on the list and you check it, I will know that that needs to be taken off. Okay. And then availability, the variations, you can tell me that there are variations um, available. So you can add those and then I, I will take the time and add those manually and then of course any notes that you think needed to be added and then hit submit and the doll company is the same way i uh, don't have the doll company update link yet it might be under contact let's see nope i don't have it there yet so i'll add the update company link too and that's it um Thank you for watching. If you want to know updates on the doll project, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. Uh, please make sure to add dolls, add companies, tell your friends because this project will not be possible without the doll community's help. And thank you for watching.